So you want some nice, thick legs, huh? Well, you came to the right place. I'll show you exactly how to achieve them so you'll be filling out your jeans, showing them off just in time for summer. So, I don't know about you guys, but personally, I find like a nice pair of meaty legs very sexy on either a guy or a girl. If somebody spends a lot of time on their legs, it, I take notice. Also, on a more personal note, if there's one day that I will not skip, it's leg day. Leg day fully transformed my body back when I introduced it into my workout routine. I'll explain why a little later on in the video. All right, let's get into it. Like the exercises, I mean. <laughs> and before you do anything crazy, make sure you warm up, do some wall sits, and actually stretch out those muscles. Number one, the barbell squat. If you're just starting out with these, you want to start with a lighter weight. Make sure you are not extending your knees beyond your front feet. You really want to place all of the weight into your back heel and drive into the ground. You'll want to stick out your butt in an almost over-exaggerated fashion. I mean, hey, we didn't grow up with J-Lo and society for nothing, right? And imagine you're about to actually sit down on a chair or a throne to get that nice full range of motion, pushing through your heels all the way down and then all the way back up. As a general rule of thumb with exercise, if you're looking to bulk and gain a lot of muscle, you'll want to go with a heavier weight but less repetitions. On the contrary, if you're looking to tone or become leaner, you actually want to do less weight and do more reps. As for me, I recommend 4 sets, 10 repetitions, heavy weight. Assuming your form is correct. That will always trump lifting heavy weights. Numero dos, deadlifts. I know, I know. This is the exercise that all of us love to hate. But I promise you, if you can nail these, you will transform your body. And not just your legs, but your entire body. I fully attribute any body that I do have to two things. One, good music, and two, incorporating deadlifts and squats, and just holistically leg day in general. These exercises engage a lot of other muscles in the process, including your core, which in turn actually releases a lot of testosterone, which turns up your libido, and promotes upper body growth as well. I get it, deadlifts can be intimidating at first. They were for me, for sure. But once you nail down the form, you will feel like the coolest dude in the gym. If you haven't done these before, just start out slow, start out light, practice with the bar until you really nail down your form. You don't want to hurt yourself. Start slow and work your way up. Remember, here's how you do it. Hip wide stance, you want to arch your back and maintain the arch, butt out, overhand or alternating grip, that's what I prefer, and then heels down, that's key. You want one fluid motion, imagining the bar being lifted on a perfectly straight up and down track. I recommend three sets, eight repetitions in each. All right, now give yourself a water break because you just completed the hardest two exercises. Congrats. <laughs> now it gets fun. Number three, leg curls. Here's a chance to really turn some heads at the gym. Put on Partition by Beyonce, lie down, face down, butt up. Thankfully the form on these guys is, is pretty easy. So just make sure that you go into a failure on every single set. This actually forces your muscle fibers to tear apart, which is really the reason why your muscles are then going to grow back bigger and stronger. I'd go for four sets, heavier weight if you can, eight to 10 repetitions in each set. And to make things a little more challenging, make your last set a drop set. So once you can't reach anymore, you hit that failure point and whatever given weight you're at, drop down a few notches and keep going, so on and so forth, rinse and repeat. Number four, alternating weighted lunges. Candidly, I personally hate these because it requires a lot of balance, which my uncoordinated self lacks plenty of. But that's precisely why I force myself to do them. Forcing my body to adapt to stress. That's exactly what bodybuilding is. All right, here's how you do it. You wanna make sure that when you drop down, you're not extending your forward knee beyond your foot. The wider the stance, the better. And remember, you really want a neutral spine and you wanna maintain a sort of 90 degree bend in your knee as you go down. I recommend doing three sets with 10 repetitions in each set, each side. Push through it, you got this, let's go. You're almost there. Numero cinco, box jumps. This one's fun. For this one, you'll want to place your feet right underneath your hips because that's where you'll actually get the most power. You can also use your arms for both balance and power. In fact, I encourage it. When you jump up, you'll want to actually land in a squatting position. Remember our squats from earlier? Now this is another balance heavy exercise. So if you stumble a little bit, don't worry. Don't be embarrassed. Everyone else in the gym is just too shy to actually try these. So just remember that you, my friend, are the brave one. As a tip, start with a lower box. Don't stress yourself out too much about having to jump too high. 
and then you can always work your way up later. I recommend three sets, 12 repetitions each. Number six, barbell hip thrusts. Last one, butt time. In my opinion, this is the best butt exercise on the market. It's going to look and perhaps feel, you know, a little provocative and maybe even a bit uncomfortable, but I promise you this one is really great. Here's how to do it. Find a bench that's about the height of your tibia or just up to your knees. Place the barbell on your hips and make sure you have a cushion in there to protect your, you know what. And place your feet just wider than shoulder length. Now legs go. Ah. Hit them heavy and hit them hard. Ooh, that sounds wrong. Flex and squeeze your glutes to actually propel that weight up. Pretend you have something very special, very sacred that you're clenching between your butt cheeks and just make sure you don't let it go. Pause and hold just for like a millisecond once your body is level. And remember, slow and steady. And definitely make sure that on that negative decline that you're taking that really slow to give your muscles a chance to feel that burn. As a tip, you know, try shifting your feet a little bit further forward if you're not actually feeling the isolated glute exercise. For me, I recommend doing three sets and 12 repetitions in each set. Ooh, your butt be looking good. Watch out, Kim K, because we be coming for you. If you guys work these exercises into your routine, you'll be seeing growth in no time, I promise. Actually, it takes about a month. Thank you for watching. Do you guys know any of these workouts? Have you guys heard of them? Do you guys use them? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It would make me so happy. And turn the bell notification set to on so you'll be the first to know of any updates. Ciao, nos vemos. I love you guys.